Hey Pew Crew, welcome back. January is upon us, which means it's time for our monthly park updates. So what we're gonna do in today's video is talk about what you should expect if you're kicking the New Year's off right, headed to Universal Studios Orlando in January of 2022. Of course, with December coming to a close, that means that the holidays are almost over <sighs> and Universal's holiday celebration will be ending as well. The last day to experience everything from Grinchmas to the parade is January 2nd and the parks will be back to normal shortly after that. So if you're hoping to catch few of those last minute festive activities, you only have a few days to do so before they're gone. January is also a great time to visit the parks as far as crowd levels are concerned. There may be a few busier days towards the beginning of the month with the residual holiday crowds, but as people make their way back to work and school, that all changes. The majority of the month is expected to be fairly slow, with even most weekends being slow as well. Yeah, there is a Monday holiday in January as well. January 17th is Martin Luther King Day, so you might see an even bigger uptick like that weekend because three day weekends are always busier in the parks, but overall very slow time in the parks. And mimicking the expected crowd levels in the parks, there are a few annual pass holder blockout dates to be aware of as well. Both the seasonal and the power pass are blocked out of Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure on January 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. But don't worry, if you have one of these passes, you do have access to the parks the rest of the month, and this doesn't affect Volcano Bay at all either. Some other dates to keep in mind in January are the 28th through the 31st, where the Wizarding World Uncelebration will be occurring. Universal used to host an official Harry Potter celebration, but they stopped doing that a few years ago, and some fans of the series have carried on this tradition by dressing up in cosplay and attending the parks. So if you see some of your favorite Wizarding World characters walking around that weekend, you'll know why. As far as park hours go, both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure open to general daytime guests at nine o'clock for the entire month. With early park admission, that is going to be at Islands of Adventure for all of January, but there are two random days where Studios has early park admission as well, and that's Friday the 28th and Saturday the 29th. Yeah, and if you look at those dates, Studios is actually closing at like 6 p.m., which kind of tells us that there's probably some sort of after hours event. Sometimes companies or schools or whatever will rent out the parks. So they will give you like early park admission to make up for them closing early. If you are one of the companies that is renting out the parks and you need an employee for like <laughs> one day out of the year, give me a call. Both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure are closing sometime between 7 and 9 p.m. for the majority of the month. Like Tyler mentioned, there are a few random nights where they close at 6 p.m., but if you wanna see the exact park hours for your dates, you can always check that out on Universal's mobile app. Of course, we also need to talk about Volcano Bay's park hours, and the water park is actually scheduled to be closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the entire Statistically, month. Statistically, the coldest days of the week. <laughs> you can Google it. It's true. It's not true. <laughs> The water parks will also shut down on a daily basis depending on the weather. So if you're planning on visiting Volcano Bay, that's something to be aware of as well. The water park will have its typical hours of 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and they will have early park admission as well, but it's starting at 9.30 instead of 9 a.m. like it typically does during the warmer months. If you're enjoying this video, if you would, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. We talk about all things theme parks here, so if that's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. We also need to talk about ride closures at the resort, and there are several. There's a few. In Islands of Adventure, Poseidon's Fury and Carasusel are still shut down for maintenance slash refurbishment, and some of the water rides are going to be closing down for yearly maintenance as well. The Jurassic Park River Adventure will be closed from January 10th through the 28th, and Ripsaw Falls will also be closing on January 31st and will remain closed for the majority of February. Over in Universal Studios, the Fear Factor Stadium has shut down for good, so we will be waiting on an announcement about what might replace that. Shrek 4D is also closing permanently on January 10th. Universal has also announced that the gift shop will be closing as well as we kind of figured, but <laughs> if you're wanting some merch or if you're wanting to don't ride it, do that attraction one last time. You are running out of time, so you better 
get on over there. And of course, Mummy. Mummy will be shutting down for an extensive refurb on January 7th, but do not worry, he will be back for his coffee later this year. Universal also made an announcement last week that face masks are now mandatory in all indoor yeah. settings. This includes everything from shops and restaurants to even indoor public places in the hotels. Masks are also required on all attractions, and this is from the time you enter the queue until you exit the attraction. So if you're planning on visiting the parks in the next month, you wanna make sure you have a mask or two with you as well. Yeah, totally unrelated, totally unrelated. Let's be nice to the team members. They are there to make your experience better and they are truly what makes it such a magical vacation. Totally unrelated. Be nice to the team members. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know what gym are you gonna join for a month and then never go back? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give us thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching Planet Fitness.